Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. When you send people to a parliament to represent you, you expect them to have the courage of their convictions. And when they vote for something, they need to stand there and be counted. But that's not what happens in Scotland, because they are so craven, so cowardly, that they refuse to identify themselves when they vote in a certain way. This has got to stop. There was a vote on whether to show um, solidarity with Israel after the attacks on the 7th of October and to fly the Israeli colours. Parliament did and parliaments all across the world did. But they did not do this in Holyrood. There was a vote and it was voted down. And of the three people who voted against it, the vote was three to one in the little committee. And in that vote, three to one voted against it. One of them was Maggie Chapman. We would expect nothing else from that hate-filled bag of shit. But the other two who voted against it have decided to remain nameless. I say they are cowards. They are vacuous, shit-filled, craven, timid little cowards who refuse to say why they wanted to be anti-Semitic and pro the baby killers. We're going to take a look at this and see if we can work out who they are. I suspect they're probably all Greens because we know how much they hate humanity. Let's have a look. So secretive Scottish Parliament refused to name the MSPs who voted against flying the Israeli flag from the building. The Scottish Government, uh, the Scottish Parliament provoked a worldwide outcry when it refused to show solidarity with Israel after three MSPs voted against it, including that upright vertical piece of human sputum, Maggie Chapman, the woman who wants to sexualise all the children in Scotland for her own nefarious and grubby little ways. Secretive Scottish Parliament refused to name the MSPs who refused calls to fly the Israeli flag from the building following the October the 7th attack in Gaza. And we previously told how the decision not to do so caused an uproar across the country, especially because the UK government lit up the House of Commons and Downing Street in the colours of the flag. The request was made to Holyrood officials to fly the flag by Tory MSP Sandesh Ghulain and also to light up the building in the colours of the country. The building does not have the capability to do this, so it was rejected. Well, that's fair enough. If you can't do it physically, that's fine. But you could still fly the flag and show the world that you're on the side of the decent people and not the child murdering bastards of Hamas. But alas, the Greens don't do that. Uh, the, the supporter of baby killers, uh, Chapman, that creature, that, that piece of human filth, voted it down. The flag request was sent to the Scottish Parliament corporate body, which is formed of four MSPs and a presiding officer. They were asked to urgently decide how to respond to the query so the decision could be made. The Scottish Express can reveal that a majority vote of three to one was against the flag waving. But the Parliament has refused to say who voted for what because they're all craven cowards. Except, funnily enough, Chapman. She's quite happy to come out and show how anti-Semitic, pro-baby murder she truly is. Scottish Tory representative Jackson Carlow is the odd man out, as he has previously confirmed that he did want Holyrood to show solidarity with Israel, as he represents Scotland's biggest Jewish population in Eastwood. I will say, whenever there is a, a, a difficulty in the world and there's, there's a, a conflict, it behoves you to always stand, regardless of your opinion of them, but to always stand with the civilised man over the barbarian, but not apparently uh, in, the, uh, in the Scottish Parliament. They're more pro-baby killing barbarians than they are the decent, innocent victims. Murdered, slaughtered, raped, killed by these animals. Scottish Greens MSP and vertical piece of human shit, uh, Maggie Chapman, uh, vet and SNP veteran Christine Graham and Scottish Labour's Claire Baker also took part in the vote, but nobody is saying who voted with presiding officer Alison Johnson out of the country, so she could not respond in time. Many other countries also stood in solidarity with Israel by flying the flag or projecting the colours on their buildings. Now, they refused to say who voted in what way, but we know Jackson Carlaw voted to fly it. And so even though they're not officially saying, it does mean that uh, SNP veteran, as described, Christine Graham, 
and Scottish Labour's Claire Baker must have therefore voted against it. So there you are. Uh, a, an anti-Semitic pro-baby murdering piece of human filth. There we go. SNP. What do you expect? Uh, Scottish Parliament Chief Executive David McGill wrote to the members of the SPCB to urge them to decide on what should happen. He revealed that they do not currently possess an Israeli flag and would have to arrange for one to be delivered. Well, since they can buy so much other shit really quickly, especially on company credit cards, as it were, you'd think it wouldn't be hard. I'm sure Amazon could have delivered one within 24 hours. It's not difficult. He adds that they will have to consider a policy position to reply to anyone making similar requests to them. He said the flag flying policy does not cover these circumstances, but does allow for the SPCB to take decisions by exception. No other flags will be flown unless in exceptional circumstances, whereas a case is made to and approved by the Scottish Parliament corporate body. There is a, we need a flag act. America's got a flag act. Uh, and America's flag act is that all country flags must be flown at the same height and all flags flown will be of the same height size they do not put and it's very strange a lot of people think it's not true but it, they do not put the stars and stripes higher than any country flag um the, the the ruling is that the stars and stripes must be flown either vertically sorry either horizontally or if it's flown vertically the stars have to be in the top right corner and at no point must the flag touch the floor uh, that's uh, that's the way they do it. But they don't raise their flag higher than anyone else's. But all flags must be the same size where appropriate. And I have to clarify that one because some flags by their design are slightly, they might be the same height, but then they'll be slightly shorter that way. But they're done to that country's specifications. Uh, in Britain, um, we do have one rule with the flags, and that is that the royal standard when flown will be flown higher than any other flag. And I think our rules is Royal Standard flies higher and above all other flags, then all other flags at the same height, flags of nations at the same height, and then flags of organisations at the next level down. Now, one of the things, and people have complained about this, is that they fly the EU flag at the same level of, as a country flag. The EU is not a country, it is an organisation. It should be flown at the next rung down. And so it should be flown lower than the Union Jack, lower than the Stars and Stripes, lower than the Israeli flag, lower than any country flag. The EU don't like that. But you know what I say? Screw them. Uh, anyway, flags are important and people don't realise. But the fact that the Parliament not only refused to do it shows the, you know, the, 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 the basically inhumanity of the people who voted against it because they were actually supporting the murderers of babies. And as far as I'm concerned, they're all pieces of filth. Uh, anyway... Um, there's a picture of that creature. What an evil, evil, disgusting piece of human filth. She's like, a, she's like if if a if a tumor had a tumor, that's what it would have. There is nothing about that woman that is in any way human. Everything she does is filled with hate and disgust, loathing, squirming mass of internal disgusting filth. I have shit things that I would prefer than her. I can't abide that woman. The hate that is in her. Her whole soul eaten, destroyed. A mass of nothing. Official claimed they could not release any of the email correspondence from the members of the SCBB, uh, SPCB due to the disclosure of individual responses because they're scared. Why are these people scared? Why are we sending people to a parliament who then refuse to stand up and say which way they voted and explain why? They're craven cowards, every last single mother of them. Jackson Carlaw, and he is not above criticism. He's not a great person, but at least he had the balls to come out and say he voted for it. So well done, Jackson. I'll give you that one. Anyway, I shall stop there, round up and come up. It's just something that really annoys me because I just can't abide the hate and vile and the, and the, and the sheer cowardice, the craven cowardice of these people. They sit there and they want to be virtuous but they cannot stand up and face people. They uh, they must be ashamed. They must be absolutely ashamed of themselves. Fuck them. Coming up. Sorry about the rant. I mean, it's it just gets me. I just cannot abide cowardice. And I, I have a long history. You all know it. I cannot abide politicians, especially shitty little ones like that. 
and craven cowardice. Another thing, if you're going to stand there and be a representative, be accountable. Don't hide behind skirts and, oh, I don't want to be named to go out because I'll be ashamed. Oh, you sad wankers. I hate them. I loathe. I loathe politicians and I loathe parties. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why. This kind of sheer fuckery that really annoys everyone, I think. So do apologise for me, rant. Apologise for me, language. We'll move on to a nicer subject. But I have actually just seen something. So I'm just going to go up and there'll be like a, a one minute video coming up right after this. Uh, just because it made me laugh. Uh, it's just something I've just seen. Uh, but anyway, we'll move on. Still, never mind. If you, uh, if, if you can put up with my rants, well done. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.